Mr. Pagan, Town Street Night Live with my dad and yours and myself. Hooray! Hi everyone. Thank you very much for that introduction. These are my lovely and fantastic daughters, Tamara and Neri, who are going to be helping me in this final edition of Chemistry 1101-1 for the 92-93 academic year. I'd like to welcome all the students in Thompson, Dauphin, Flim Flon and the Paw to the 26th lecture, Chemistry Night Live tonight. And um, what we're going to do is something uh, that's lots of fun. We're going to do a little bit of wet chemistry, just to remind us all what we're doing here in chemistry, educating people, making the world a better place for people like these over here. Okay, kids, you ready for the first experiment? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'd also like to say hi to all the armchair chemists, everyone who's just watching this for fun. Okay, so let's get started. Here's experiment number one. We have a whole bunch of glasses here. And this is an acid-base chemistry experiment. And thank you, there's the purple color, the dancing raisins, sort of like the California <laughs> raisins. And what you do is you put little raisins on the top and the bubbles adhere to the raisins and the raisins start floating to the top of the cup and then the bubbles start diminishing and the raisins go down and then they go up again and they dance around. But my raisins must have been too big because they went straight to the bottom and they didn't float up. So that's why we didn't try it. But perhaps some of you in uh, Thompson or dolphin. Or dolphin would like or to. Or flint swan. <laughs> would like to do the raisin experiment. Well, um, let's try one other thing, kids, since we're on a roll here. I want to talk about entropy. I got all the things necessary to talk about entropy, and all you have to do is look in my kids' room, and you'll see all sorts of entropy. Yeah, we do have. Yeah, yeah. a messy yeah. room. That's very much. I think so, too. Hey, Gil. Good. Okay, now let's go to Thompson.